Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce Marketplace Multi-Currency Plugin. Now this particular plugin allows your shop to display prices and accept payments in multiple currencies. This in turn will allow your customers to shop in their required currency thereby increasing the conversions there. Apart from that the admin can configure as many as currencies to the store as per the choice. Such currencies will then appear in the list displayed at the storefront for the web store users to select. So here you can see that I'm at the uh, WooCommerce uh, Marketplace web store front end and here we have the option to choose the currency as per our own requirement. I'm on the login page. If I go to the shop page, for example, let me tap on the shop page there, uh, we'll be able to see the uh, uh, default currency or the selected one. Uh, the base currency of the uh, store is in uh, GBP. Uh, I can choose any of the currencies from here and according to that uh, the currencies uh, or the currency rates would be changed here within the products as you can see right now. Now the users can select the currencies in which they would uh, like to see the prices as well as can complete the transactions in the selected uh, currency. So the currency that I've selected from here according to that the prices of the products would get changed here. I can then add the product to the cart uh, for example uh, with the particular currency there. So for example uh, it was in US dollars if I go ahead I choose uh, a United Arab Emirates uh, dirham. Uh, the uh, prices would be changed accordingly. Now if I add it to the cart, you can see that the price is in uh, the dirham itself. And from here, the customers can make a checkout thereafter very easily. Now the admin can also select the base currency of the store and accordingly can configure the exchange rate manually for each currency. Apart from that, the marketplace vendors would also be able to set the exchange rate, rate equivalent to the base currency for each product for the different currencies manually. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow at the storefront, how the customers can choose the currency, how they can place the orders with the chosen currency. Uh, then we'll see the vendor end wherein we'll see how the vendors would be able to set the exchange rate equivalent to, the, uh, to be the base currency for each product there and the admin configurations required for this particular plugin itself. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So uh, let's check the customer's end. And for that, first, let me log into the customer account there. So I'll just go to the my account section. And here I'll be uh, logging into my customer account. So I'll just uh, add the username and the password and I'll tap on the login button thereafter. Now let's go to the shop page. Okay. Now uh, let me show you the workflow of this uh, particular plugin. So here the customers can find this uh, currency section or the drop down from where they can choose their respective currency. Choosing the res their respective uh, currency would what that would do is would change the price of the products in that uh, particular currency itself. So for example, if I go with uh, United States, uh, the currency would be changed into the dollars there. If I go with the dirham, then the uh, currency would be changed into the uh, United Arab Emirates dirham. Now the customers uh, can uh, change the currency and within that particular chosen currency, they can also make a checkout there. So let me show you that. So for first, uh, what we'll do is we'll just, uh, I'll just clear the card there. So uh, we have chosen right now United Arab Emirates Dirham. So I can add a product into the cart and you can see that the currency in the cart is the same. Even if I view the cart there as well, we can find the uh, currency in the Dirham as you can see here. And from here, the customer can easily proceed to the checkout uh, with the selected currency there. So uh, here uh, we can choose our uh, details and here under the your order you can find that the product and the currency uh, that you have chosen and the price within that currency for this particular product and uh, the customer can choose his uh, payment method and can place the order very easily thereafter. So the base currency of this uh, current uh, store was in Great Britain Pounds GBP uh, but you can see that the customer checked out uh, using the uh, dirham there. Uh, and he was able to view the, the price of the products in the dirham itself and here also you can see within the order details uh, uh, the uh, the prices in dirhams itself now if i go back to the shop page 
and uh, now if I choose the currency for example as uh, Chinese Yuan uh, we can see that the price of the products will be changed into the Chinese Yuan now we can add a product into the cart and you can see within the cart as well we have the currency that's the Chinese Yuan and we can now make a checkout thereafter uh, and uh, here under the order section you can see the Chinese Yuan currency and we can place the order using the Chinese Yuan currency as well so whatever uh, currency that you have chosen uh, the product price would be changing into that currency and uh, the chosen currency uh, the, the customers can make use of the chosen currency to make a checkout as well and can pay in that particular uh, currency itself now if I go to my account section and my orders you'll see that uh, I've placed uh, different orders and for each order the uh, currency is different here we have the Chinese Yuan here we have the uh, United Arab Emirates uh, Dirham here we have the Indian Rupee here we have the Great Britain Pound Rupee Great Britain Pound so that's how this particular plugin that's uh, the uh, WooCommerce uh, multimedia marketplace multi-currency plugin basically works now uh, this was the uh, customers end and uh, let me log out of the customer account here now I'll be taking you to the vendors end and I'll show you how the vendors would be able to set the uh, a multi currency under their own account panel for each of their products there and how they can view the currency rates added by the uh, marketplace admin himself so for that I'll be logging into uh, the uh, account panel of the vendor first so let's log into the uh, vendor account panel so as soon as I've logged into my vendor panel here uh, because uh, the currency was in Chinese Yuan so it's uh, showing Chinese Yuan here but uh, on the left hand side here under the marketplace dashboard you will find the multi currency option now if you go to the multi currency option here you can see uh, the store's main currency is GBP and here are the currency rates and the currencies uh, that have been added by the admin like Indian Rupee, US Dollar, Dirham, Yuan, Canadian Dollars, Euro, Japanese Yen and the Sri Lankan Rupee and uh, here you can see the rate for each uh, or uh, what we say as the exchange rate for each of uh, these currencies as well now uh, how the admin uh, or how the vendors would be able to set the uh, exchange currency for their products so for that they need to navigate to the product section and here the vendor will find the complete list of products that he has on his own account panel now let's edit the uh, product here so uh, initially you can see that uh, here because uh, the uh, store's base currency is in uh, uh, the Great Britain Pound so here the regular price is uh, $10 so the uh, if we check this product, particular product at the storefront uh, in Great Britain Pounds the price of this product would be in uh, 10 uh, GBP uh, I'll just show you that in a while from now so uh, to set the multi currency uh, exchange rates for the product uh, you'll have to navigate to the after editing the product you have to navigate to the multi currency tab in the last so you'll have to tap on that and uh, whichever currencies the admin has added from the back end those would be visible here as you can see all of those are visible here and here you can find the store's main currency what current uh, uh, main currency or the base currency is there for the uh, for the store there that the admin has set up and uh, here you can set the per product currency exchange rate as per the main currency here so for example uh, one great britain uh, great british pound is equal to 120 uh, indian rupees uh, and one uh, gbp is equal to 1.38 i'll just take it as one us dollar and uh, the one uh, gbp is equivalent to 5.07 uh, uae dirham but i'll just take it as five for now and uh, let me update this up for this particular product so as soon as we have updated it if i go back multi currencies here i have set the exchange rates now you can see the actual product price in gbp is 10 uh, 10 gbp uh, uh, great british pounds there now if i go to the product on the storefront there let's go to the storefront so here I'm at the storefront you can see that uh, it's in the GBP uh, the price is uh, 10 uh, pounds there now if I go with the Indian rupee it should be because the currency exchange rate is uh, 102 uh, the price should be 1020 rupees so if we change that up yeah that's uh, exactly the exact price that should be there 
now for the United States dollar it should be ten dollars and if I choose United Arab Emirates dirham it should be 50 because the base price is uh, 10 uh, pounds there and the currency rate is 5 so the price in uh, the dirham should be 50 in United States dollar it should be 10 because the exchange rate is $1 for 1 GBP I've taken that and uh, for the Indian rupee it is uh, 1200 because I've taken 120 as the uh, exchange rate uh, there okay so that's how this particular plugin works and how that's how the uh, sellers can uh, go to each of their respective products and can set the exchange rates uh, by navigating to the multi-currency uh, section there so you can see that we had set it as 120 so that's it that's why it was uh, 1200 uh, uh, 1200 uh, rupees here in the uh, currency for the indian rupee now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see what different configuration settings are there for this particular plugin. So uh, let me go ahead and let me log out from here and uh, I'll be just uh, going back uh, to the uh, admin uh, login section there. So I'll be logging into the admin backend panel. So after the successful installation of the uh, WooCommerce Marketplace Multi-Currency plugin, you will find the uh, Marketplace Multi-Currency option and uh, here on the side panel and under that we have uh, the configuration settings one is the general settings and the currency options so you can enable the multi-currency status by choosing an enabled option here otherwise you can choose it to be disabled if you want to disable this particular functionality that brings up this particular pop-up here uh, for selecting the uh, different currencies uh, there for the customers uh, then uh, to add a currency you can tap here on the add currency button I've already added uh, different currencies here like Indian Rupee, United States Dollar. You can re remove anyone by tapping on the remove button and uh, that particular row would be removed as you can see. Uh, let me remove a few ones. Okay and let me remove some more and I'll remove this one as well. To add a currency now, you just have to tap here on the add currency button and a row would be added here. So I'll just tap here on the add currency button and a row has been added. From here we can choose a particular uh, country, uh, choose the currency position where you want to put it, uh, whether you want to put the currency symbol on the left hand side, right hand side, uh, left hand side with a space, right hand side with a space, enter the exchange rate uh, for that and uh, uh, then tap on the save changes button to save those uh, currency rates now the currencies uh, that you have added here would then be available to the marketplace vendors as well uh, for their products as well and they can change that up if, to change the default currency of your store right now you can see that the store's main currency is uh, great british pounds and if you want you can just tap here on the here option uh, to change the same and then under the general you can scroll down to the currency and you can change uh, uh, your uh, what we say as the currency option from here or the default uh, or the base currency for your store right now we have chosen it as pound sterling there uh, and uh, that was it about the uh, the default currency and how to add the uh, different uh, currencies there uh, by the admin now the admin can also uh, change the uh, yeah, or add the uh, exchange currencies uh, for the products there so for that he'll have to go to uh, products for example we can go to uh, add a new product or to an already created product as well and uh, for example if I go and I'd go ahead and tap on the add new product button uh, the same goes for an already created product as well just go to the product edit page and then here go to the multi currency section and whichever uh, currencies that uh, the admin has added the admin can add the exchange rate uh, for each of those uh, now it depends upon what uh, exactly the uh, base currency is there so according to the base currency if it's uh, for example we had set the base currency there as uh, uh, GBP so then we have to enter the exchange rate uh, for the uh, different currencies like Indian Rupee, United States Dollars and the United Arab Emirates. So what we'll do is if the, uh, uh, the store's main uh, currency is GBP or any other, uh, for that particular currency we'll take for example 1 GBP or 1 US Dollar equivalent into Indian Rupees. That exchange rate needs to be added here. The, what is uh, Then we have to ch check for the United States Dollars if it's uh, uh, 1 GBP or 
uh, so one GB equivalent to the United States dollar that rate to be entered here and similarly we can add the uh, equivalent uh, exchange rates for the different uh, currencies there for each of the respected uh, respective products there in the admin backend panel there also kindly note that uh, if the admin changes the uh, currency rates for a particular currency then an email would be sent out to the uh, marketplace window and the same goes uh, with the admin as well if the marketplace window changes uh, uh, an exchange rate for a particular uh, currency then an email is sent out to the admin as well so uh, that was the workflow of this particular plugin there and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of uh, the plugin itself. That's the WooCommerce Multimedia Marketplace multi currency plugin. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.jubitis.com. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.